Good morning. This is breakfast today. I made some keto sausage balls. And we're going to top it with some spicy mayo. I was craving sausage, so these sound pretty good. Hey, good morning. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's Thursday, May 23rd. Um, <clears throat> I made a video last night. I don't know, it was kind of a rant video. I was talking about my improv class last night, and it didn't really go as well as I wanted it to. It was just it was my issue, mostly. Um, so, I don't know. I just I decided not to upload it. So, uh, instead you got a what I eat in, in a day video. Um, <clears throat> trying to think. I think last night I also talked a little bit about the book I've been reading, Outlive. Um, the chapter that I'm on now, chapter five, it's going to talk about eating less to live. So I think that'll be interesting. I think I definitely have too large of portion sizes. One thing that made me realize that was the fact of 75 meals. Um, I mean, I guess initially I thought, oh, these portions are small because they're just trying to save money. Which, that might be the case, but at the same time, each meal's around, usually, on average, I would say 600 calories. So, per meal, I think that's where you probably want to be. Um, so, those Factor 75 meals really made me realize that my portions have been too big. Which, I, you know, it's not a shocker to me. But, uh, it's just, it is a shocker when you see how much you should be eating. <laughs> So, I think that's interesting. I'm interested to see what this book says about it. Um, so, anyway, I don't know. I just wanted to make this short video um, to apologize for the lack of a decent video yesterday. Um, yeah, the video that turned out yesterday was not good. I didn't want to upload it. So, all right, I'll talk to you all later. Well, can you guess where I am? I am at the gym. Someone was just in the parking lot doing donuts in that white Mustang. So I'm going to work shoulders and back today. So we'll be back. Good evening. Um, I just finished a little meeting with a film group I'm part of here in Tampa. I'm not in Tampa, but I'm close to Tampa. Um, just finished that up. Trying to generate some ideas for, not necessarily a script, but ideas for video. So we got a few good ideas. I'm planning to meet in a couple of weeks. So it's pretty fun. At least I want it to be fun. Once something is, once something feels like work, then, uh, it's obviously not fun. And I think hobbies, videography, photography, those are some hobbies I like. I think it should remain fun. I used to, I've done a few weddings in the past, and uh, those were not fun. Not fun at all. So, when it comes to photography, videography, I like for it to be fun. <clears throat> Anyways, I was... Trying to fast after 2 p.m., but I gave in and had some snacks. I've been snacking on cheese. I had some sriracha cheese from Aldi. It was okay, but too spicy. I, it's just, I don't know. I mean, it, I could tolerate it, but it's just not a good, not a flavor I like. Um, and I had some macadamia nuts and some other cheese that I had. So, I, well, you saw the video of me going to the gym also. Um, that was a pretty good workout. I just did shoulders and back. Um, didn't do any cardio. I was kind of rushing. Today at the gym, I was focused on things that I wanted to do. I wanted to go to Walmart. I picked up a new video game. I did that. Then came home, read a little bit of Outlive. It's a very interesting book. 
chapter, I think I'm on chapter 5, they're talking about this molecule that was discovered on Easter Island that uh, after studies on various mammals, it extends their life. Um, supposedly this author, he's not trying to sell something specific, sell for monetary value or just sell something that he believes in. Uh, he's supposedly just presenting information and uh, letting the reader decide the best way to prolong their lifespan and health span. So I'm interested to see what it all boils down to exactly as far as what lifestyle changes you get from the book. So... <clears throat> I've been reading a lot. I've been using... I got my mom a Kindle for Christmas last year. And um, she wasn't using it right now, so I borrowed it just to see if I would actually use it for reading. And um, it's pretty nice. The way you upload... Here it is right here. It's all washed out right now since the camera's not... Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, I like how you can load, you can load various files to it, and it's easy to do. You just drag and drop on the uh, Amazon portal. You have to sign into your account, and then you drag and drop documents that get, uh, I guess, uploaded to their cloud, and then you can download it onto your Kindle. So it's pretty cool. I think I'm going to buy myself one. Um, so anyway... I like, sometimes I like highlighting stuff in books or making notes, so that's one downside of it. There are other devices, like the Remarkable, more expensive, but you can write and stuff. But uh, I'm not too concerned about that. This is just supposed to be uh, an easier way to read. I love that it's backlit, too. It's nice. So anyway... <clears throat> I'm going to continue reading this chapter, maybe do the next chapter, see what time it gets to, and uh, I'll see if I can tell you any bullet points tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Alrighty, have a good night.